Good move. It was very, very nice. Yeah. Great time with Street Fighter and Smash to come together and hold hands and for a great cause. And honestly, if you guys want to keep up with that opportunity, maybe having it again, please check out at Chase Deluxe on Twitter for all the information you guys may be looking for. Right here is Twerk Master and Swamp. Yeah, Game let's, and look watch. At, let's look at this pool too while the uh, early action starts. Both these players are undefeated in their pool. This is actually Swamp's final, like, really big match before he has a, to close it out against the bottom seed in the pool. Mm -hmm. Um, Torque Master actually dropped a game to Arcblade and and ran, so that's two players. He's uh, you know, so Torque Master is definitely in this kind of weird scenario where they won every single set, but they're dropping kind of in a must. Games, yeah, they're yeah. dropping those games. They might be in a must win, so they don't lose on tiebreakers. So, you know, Game and Watch coming out for Torque Master and D um, three. Yeah, Swamp coming out uh, with the D three. Had a little bit of experience talking some Game and Watch with uh, Paper and you know. Game & Watch is a definitely interesting character. You know that they're going to try to up you out of all these situations and just keep on the aerial pressure. Going a lot of Chef coming out from Twerk, though. That's interesting. They even intercepted the aerial coming out from King TDD. Oh, I almost got, <laughs> almost got some of the up air. That is true. I do like these, the fact that he's coming out with the Chef a little bit more often, simply because he might be trying to go for that Gordo play, and then might actually be able to reflect the Gordo. And he's got Swamp at that such high percent. Well, not just that. It looks like it's it's putting out a hitbox that lingers right in the zone that DDD needs to wind up his aerial. That is true. <laughs> like, that's actually crazy. really true. I wonder if that's the matchup, like the Exodia of the matchup. Oh, my God, it's shield focus. Uh, that shield was absolutely an m and and Torque Master looking pretty good coming up in the early goings. Torque Master looking to retreat here, sends it that forward, that landing bomb, and he's able to clank with the yeah, Gordo. What a follow right up! Through, man, how special is the move? Yeah, there's that Gordo play that you were talking about, mm -hmm. and this looks very frustrating. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Let's see. And it's kind of funny too because like Game & Watch is one of those paperweight characters too. He's I think top five the lightest character, one of the top five characters in the game that are light. So he can definitely die early some D3 shenanigans, but D3 is like also yeah, look at Chef, man, it's. Broken. Okay, this this is like old school brawl when Kirby's would get uh, you know the Pikmin from Olimar and just hit the B button and win. This is similar. <laughs> like he just throwing out the B button. Like King DDD can't get through. Uh, like if there's a platform defending him. Oh my god. Up B out of shield and newly looking to follow up. It's another one here for there. Yeah, doesn't really have an answer to it. I don't know what the answer is either. If I'm playing King DDD, Swamp's probably my answer would probably be I'm gonna switch character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at that point. Oh, uh, got an inhale. All right, some counterplay. You know, credit to Swamp trying out different options, trying to break through mm -hmm. Chef. Can you imagine the metagame? Trying to break through Chef is, like, you know, very important. <laughs> For your character? <laughs> <laughs> the one matchup you never expect, like, okay, this is a bad matchup because Chef actually shuts down DDD. Right. So far, that's what's happening, and yeah. uh, Swamp is just being absolutely picked apart by neutral special, man. They talk about, you know, there are no win buttons in Smash, but so far, it covered the back here. This is some garbage time. <laughs> I feel really salty for Swamp, but, you know. Hey, you pick the character, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. That is true. You know, shout-outs to Twerk for just playing to win. Able to get back and fire and, you know, doesn't even really care about the damage. Throwing out more Chef. And back here, Turtle not quite enough to kill. To beat D3 and living at 200%, I mean, at this point, with it's Game a, Watch, man. With Game & Watch, at this point, it's a war of atrocity here. And that, that's, even with that much rage, you're still able to survive. I think the fact that... They got him with Chef again? <laughs> <laughs> what the... <laughs> Can you imagine, bro, just making a character that loses his one move? i throw. Yeah, that'll do it. Yep, that'll kill. And Twerk Master, you know, cooking up the recipe for a victory, and it's the B button so three, far. Three stocks, man, four minutes on the board. Yeah, he just waits until a Gordo comes out and just fires right through it. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what Chef was able to actually do, is have those hitboxes that stop Gordo. And Game even and watch hard counter to um, DDD? One move, one move from this character. It might be true, I, I'm, I'm a believer now. He might be a hard counter at this point. Okay. Okay, yeah, he was able he to bounce it back. Yeah. And he bounced it into it. There's the counter play. So now King DD's got to set up the side special, the linger, you know, the, the slow one, and then hit it with the neutral air landing. <laughs> and then he can make it through. Slow Gordon on there and hope for the best. <laughs> That's a lot of work, though, to get, like, one hit. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
But that's the kind of counterplay you kind of have to expect coming out here from Swan because he has to make those choices here, especially the way Torg Masters knows. Play lame, win the game, especially with this, with two stocks and it's such a huge deficit. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm more of an advocate for, you know, Swan being like, yeah, I think I'm going to switch characters next game. At this point. I, I would. <laughs> I would. <laughs> oh. yeah, four air hits, that'll kill. Yeah, very easy win for Turk Master, and that's just the matchup. He took his time, man. That was good stuff for Turk Master to understand. Swamp Sometimes asked you like, "What the hell? What, what was that?" <laughs> it is good for Turk Master to understand. Like sometimes you have to take your time in the matchup. Mm -hmm. Honestly, it's not a race, and if you understand what your opponent's frustrations and their losses are towards certain things, having those tools definitely help help you out in the long run. Yeah, not just that, but. If the tool's working, yeah. just keep going to it, man, until they can get through. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. Right. If you have it, if it's it's not broken, if it's in the game. All right, let's see. Switching characters, yeah. I, see I was gonna say, please, out. please switch characters, man. Don't don't subject yourself to such an like that. All right, here we go. All right, let's come on to the next game here. Swamp now switching over the corn here, and Quark Masters taking charge and true for the game to watch. Different matchup. We're not seeing him go for a lot of shit that much. Well, I just said that he went for it one time. <laughs> just trying to keep him honest, remind him what happened in the last game, you know. <laughs> Such a name like Turk Master just probably trying to play into the head of his opponent. Control them just a little bit. But Corrin probably gonna have a little bit easier time than DDD getting through the chef uh, the chef wall. Already coming out with a pin, trying to Hold it down, and it's probably done as much damage on the first stock as it took him the last two stocks in the first game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, Chef's coming out as the edge guard, ledge dropping, trying to catch a neutral get up, but he went for a jump instead. Yeah, good, good options coming out from Twerk, and just at this point, really outplaying Swamp in this matchup. Because that was going to be the case, right? You know. Before, it was clearly King DDD was definitely the issue coming out for Swamp. Mm -hmm. But, and with the Corian oh. switch, his opportunity to really reset the momentum of the match. But Twerk Master just picking up right where he left off and making it happen. And here we go. Gets a forward air covering that space. But a good pin coming out in Edgar situation for Swamp. Not quite enough to capitalize. Game & Watch's recovery is so good. In those situations. Yeah, up be really fast, kind of hard to react to, especially a good get out, get out of the combo tool. Yeah. Kind of an eject the Cedo, just get out of all the options that you really want to want to feel comfortable in and able to escape. He has a down throw and he immediately tries to go for a follow up. Goes for the nair. I do like the fact that at this point, Swamp kind of knows I have to work master a little bit on those high presses. I have to wow. be careful with that oh up there. almost picked him up. Only going to tickle just a little bit before it kills. I was going to say, you know, uh, as much as they're playing neutral, there hasn't been really any situations that Swamp has, like, really gotten any sort of key hits outside of that uh, tipper uh, side special. Yeah, that you know? is true. And on the flip side of it, Torque Master has gotten the hits that he's really needed to to start pulling away. Almost put it a full, like, a full 3-1. It's trouble, you know. Let's see if he's able to make some last-minute adaptations. It's kind of as we said, you know, it's a winner-go-home situation. Yeah, because this is the last match for Swamp to really, you know, try to pull off an upset or something like that to try to secure a first seed in the pool. And if he doesn't pull out the set, it's going to turn into a mess in the results. <laughs> <laughs> that is All true. All the ties, man. So All now right. Torque Master trying to close out this stock. Kind of has the tools here. He's gonna have the edge guards decently played here because he was at the la at the platform mm -hmm. sending out those bombs to make sure that if Swamp is gonna make that recovery, he's gonna have to face something from the edge. A lot of a lot of chef here goes for the downer and wow. then cause the untechable actually. Swamp losing that stock. It was Torque Master with two stocks, 39%. Yeah, he if goes off stage just to bide his time during invincibility. And Torque Master is right back into just commanding lead at this point. Not sure what. Oh, I thought it's, I thought Judgment Hammer's coming out right there. I was going to say, like, if that would have been something, just send a message here to Swamp. Don't come back to Arcadia. Yeah. Stay home and drain. Yeah, Torque Master definitely playing this, like, tournament life on the line. Just doing everything he can to win. He kind of just dragged around Swamp to the other side of the stage, too, especially with the way that Swamp was trying to play around the platforms. He was looking for a way to escape, but he only found himself on the other side of the corner. 
Good stalling out from Torque here, able to survive. He comes back down with the downer, able to poke through the platform and almost oh, gets the full almost hit. Almost got the full hit. Yeah, from the Dragon Fang shot. That's always demoralized. He works so hard to get around that projectile. And then you get hit by the <laughs> by the finisher, you're like, man. <laughs> That's one of those plays where you're like, damn, I really I played myself trying to play the my Congrats, opponent. you played yourself, yeah. Right? Exactly. <laughs> Down, wow, no, not good gonna do key, it. Covering so much range. Back air, good opportunity here, but not able to connect here. Yeah, I hope Burns to turn off for Swamp still alive, but he's gonna have to do something big. Oh, wow. what a frame trap! He told him to block the up smash, but face the down tilt. Yeah, he's like, it's not your turn yet. Yeah. Not your turn at all.